He said something about beware my half a head, I'm walking amongst the dead. I don't know. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> what are those? Holy crap, guys, I am back in Canton, Ohio, and look at this. I am at the Spirit Halloween that used to be the Toys R Us. This is the Toys R Us that you now see in my awesome intro that blows up and turns into Spirit Halloween. This is my all-time favorite Spirit Halloween, guys, because this is inside the Toys R Us that I used to shop at when I lived in Canton. Look, if you look closely, you can even see the old lettering. The T up there, and over here you can see part of the star under the Halloween. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's go in. The old Toys R Us, the new Spirit Halloween in Canton, Ohio, on Whipple Avenue. Oh, they got the big spooky Halloween signs up on the windows. Me like it. All right, and look at this. We got Wraith as soon as we walk in the door. And he's already getting spooky on us, guys. Holy crap. I love this guy so much. Look how he just goes up and down and just wobbles like in a spooky way. He's doing the spooky wobble. Okay, I gotta take a step back here. Hold on, guys, because I just went straight for the wraith when I came in. But look at this. I never give the baskets any face time, but they are so very cool. And I know a lot of people wish that they could have one, but they can't. Or maybe they can. I just made that up. There's even more over here, and this is more the style that people like to collect, actually. But you can't have those either. Or maybe you can. I never asked. Okay, they are still waiting for many a animatronic to come in, but they do have the Hauntress. Let's see if she jumps to scare us. Are you coming out to scare me? I guess not. Hello? Hello, McFly. Okay, wait, McFly has a step pad. Let's see. Okay, I guess it's not gonna work, but anyways. All right, we like you anyways, Mr. Hauntress. Okay, Mrs. Hauntress, sorry. 49 days till Halloween, two seconds till we walk through the chains of death. <laughs> There's like several sounds that go off when you walk through. It's a, a different tone. Okay, I heard you. Let's do it again, see if we get a different kind of sound. All right, we're waiting. There we go. <laughs> okay, that time it was like a train. Let's see what it does this time. See? Okay. A plethora of sounds through the chains of death. <laughs> that one actually sounded like an old steam train. I don't think I've ever had so much fun in the chains of death. Okay, let's peek over here real quick. We don't have anybody set up here, unfortunately, but I did hear Sam over here. Here we are. Sam, what are you doing so close to the edge? Pull you out a little bit. Uh-oh, he's trying to fall over. Don't fall over, Sam. Okay, all right, I gotcha. I tried to straighten him up, but he's trying to fall over. Apparently he needs to be reconditioned or something. Okay, you're very loud, Mr. Sam, we're out of here. All right, let's head back over this way. I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. All right, we got the jumping Spidey here, Mr. Brown. Come on, Mr. Brown. Here we go. There you go, thank you for scaring us, Mr. Brown. Okay, we got the pumpkin carve matic over here. And even though we're still waiting for those animatronics, it's still awesome. I just, I can't get over how the pumpkins go in here, they come out over here carved. Oh look, his hat is tipped. And they all have the same face. I wish some of them had like smiley faces and spooky faces and everything else, you know, instead of just the one design. Okay, let's make our way back here. Holy crap, look at what we have right here, guys. It is Headless Headful Jack. I'll never understand why his name is Headless Jack because he clearly has a head. Okay, maybe it's half a head. He's half a head, Jack. Mr. Half a Head, I hear you talking, but I can't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Okay, fine, the top half of your mouth. <laughs> he said something about beware my half a head, I'm walking amongst the dead. I don't know. Is he supposed to be moving? I'm not sure. I know I saw him set up in one other store, but I don't remember if he was moving. Anyway, Mr. Half Ahead, we'll see you later. If any of these are gonna come back and kill me, it's gonna be him because I teased him about having half a head. Okay, we're missing Night Stalker and Wacky Mole over here, but I do see some awesome things on the floor right here. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. We're also missing Grave Digger Guy, whatever his name is, <laughs> but we do have a jumping red and black spider. Let's get him going. Hello, Mr. Spider. We also have the Harvester of Souls. 
Let's get him going as well. I hear you. And I'm looking too, just as all the others have. Alright, no fog on there, but he's still awesome. Oh my gosh, they have a bunch of inflatables that I haven't seen in other stores. We'll get to those in a minute. I don't think I've seen this guy in any other store, guys. Look at this. The 36-inch animated Reaper Greeter. He has a Halloween trick-or-treat bag. Let's try him. Oh! He's talking, but the music's so loud I can't understand what he's saying. Here's another picture of him on the side here with his hood half down and his candy bag full of candy. We also have a harvester of souls available right here. And look, they have a half a head jack. And okay, looking at this, I guess that answers my questions. Oversized light up pumpkin head with haunting phrases. Posable arms, but I guess he does not move back and forth. Ooh, we got the life-size posable black light skeletons. Oh, how cool is this? I haven't seen these in other stores. The 60-inch light-up scream characters. Oh, that is awesome, guys. I love it. Complete with a knife to gut you like a fish. This would be really cool to have hanging from your tree outside like Casey. <laughs> if this were hanging up, the wind would be blowing. It would be blowing all this stuff all over, and it would be major spooky. And right beside him, we have the Reaper with wings. Oh, look at that. The wings move. I think you, I hear you. <laughs> I think you actually unfold the wings so that they're pretty big. We've got these guys writhing in agony. Hey, look at this skull right here. This, oh, that's ceramic. That's not even plastic, but how cool would it be to have like a bowl of pudding in that skull head? Hey, let's look at some of the inflatables over here, guys. I've seen the Wolfman other places. I've seen the skeleton other places. I think I've even seen the eye other places, but I don't think I've seen this giant skull or the enormous nine foot inflatable light up jack-o'-lantern archway. That is cool. It's almost got like a spooky tree wrapped around it. We've got the inflatable six foot skeleton hands. We've got inflatable gargoyles, inflatable four foot tombstone, and an inflatable black cat. Look at his face. That's hilarious. Look, we got a swinging skeleton boy. I think he's kind of hard to find. This is where the zombie babies would be if they had them, but all they have is this black cat right now. I'm on the lookout for the burrito baby. Somebody told me they were looking for the cat dog. Remember the one that had the head of the cat and the head of the dog? They said they called corporate and they told him it doesn't even exist. But I filmed it. Maybe it vanished like a phantom. Maybe he's invisible and we just can't see him. <laughs> I can see these rats. Look at the teeth on that thing. What in the world? These rats deserve some stickers. Holy crap, guys, look at this. They have the trick or treat, the wraith mask. I'm still on the hunt for children of the corn, though. Here's an awesome children of the corn Malachi blade. I've always loved this clown right here, like an Emmett Kelly. Oh my gosh, guys, look, it's a grumpy baby. <laughs> And guys, here's a little treat. Right through that door is the old Toys R Us. If you come in here, do not go through that door. If you want to see it, you can go back in my videos. In fact, I'll link it below, and you can see this Toys R Us completely empty right after it was abandoned. I was allowed in to film every inch of it wall to wall. Oh, the fun I had shopping in Toys R Us. All right, around this corner, we've got the jumping spiders. We got the black and whites there. Um, we got a brown and the black and reds. And look at this over here, three thumbs up. What in the world? Oh, it's a haunted mansion thing. Oh, cool, look, it lights. Well, it did light up. <laughs> look at this, a nightmare before Christmas wreath. That is hilarious. Look at the teeth in there. I don't think I've seen this one before either. Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion. That's a throw blanket. Look, we've got an inflatable Sam. I thought I had all the inflatables, but apparently not. We got the Sam greeter, and we have Chucky greeters here. Look at this, the gremlins are coming. This is a sweet gizmo throw. And I'm not into the exorcist, it's too evil for me, but that does look pretty cool. I wanna get one of these Sam heads and just have an enormous bowl of haunted cap and crunch. Holy crap, guys, mermaid man socks. I don't think I've seen the creature of the night hat before either. Look at this Sam shirt. I don't think I've seen this either. Always check your candy. How cool is that? A finger, an eyeball, and a holly ho candy bar. Oh my gosh, and it's got a razor blade in it. <laughs> that is too funny, guys. My parents always ate half my basket of trick-or-treat candy because they told me there was gonna be a razor blade in the candy bar. 
bars. Oh my gosh, guys, I have not seen this shirt either. I'll see you in hack. Inflatable Garfield costume, yes. I'm gonna try to get my wife to dress up like Mary Sanderson. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave some stickers where Wacky should be. And we're gonna leave some with Mr. Half Ahead. Look at this, guys. Somehow I missed this. Check it out. We got a stack of pumpkins, and Mr. Grimm is standing here guarding the customer service door, which is actually a coffin. They want you to step in and die. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for the Canton spirit, at least for now. I might be back. I don't know. I do want to see everything to get in here. This is a huge store, but uh, stick around, and if I come back, you guys are coming back. Stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god.